How's it going YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an automatic page monitor so that you can get the latest notifications for when new stock drops for, whether you're into Pokemon, um, sneakers, coins, comics, whatever you're into, this will help you uh, to monitor when the latest stock comes in. So first go to uh, Chrome, it has to be uh, Chrome. Um, search for page monitor Chrome and the top one should be the right one. Click add to Chrome, you'll know which one it is, it's the one with the kind of heartbeat monitor here. Um, and once you've done that, you'll see that it now says remove to Chrome and it's now pinned. If it's not showing automatically up here, click this little uh, extension button and it should show in here. If it doesn't show there, just restart Chrome and then uh, like open it back up again, it should be there. Uh, but what I normally do is actually pin it up here so that it, it shows here as well. So when you click that, you can now see that you've got a couple of options. You can check all now if you've already set some up or just check to see if there's any updates and monitor this page. So um, let's test this out. We'll, uh, I'm into Pokemon, so obviously I'm gonna go for Pokemon stuff. So at the minute, Shining Fates is huge. Um, can't get any stock of it, it's always out of stock. Uh, and what I want is notifications to tell me when this actually comes in the stock. Um, so dead easy, go to the page that you wanna actually monitor, click monitor up here and click monitor page. As you can see, the options now change, so it changes to check all, stop monitoring, and so on and so forth. Uh, when you very first set up the monitor, it just basically checks everything on the page. Um, for anyone that doesn't know how pages work, they usually work in HTML or Java. Um, and essentially what it's doing is it's comparing the two uh, from when it last seen it to when it sees it now and checks to see if there's any difference in the code. Um, so we don't necessarily want to do that for everything. There's a few things on here that could change. Uh, for example, this local store might change, which I don't actually want to know. Uh, the words here might change. So you'll get a load of false negatives, essentially, a load of uh, notifications when nothing's actually changed in terms of the stock. It's just the page is slightly changed. Uh, so to change that, what we would do is if we go up to the options, you can see that we're now monitoring it. If we go to options, uh, we can click custom mode and then pick. And what this now allows you to do, if you look that all of these are individual um, objects essentially, so uh, they're objects which are getting delivered by the site. So this is one object, this is another object, these are objects, etc., etc. What you wanna look at on the site is specifically what part you want to change. So for example, I'm not interested in this whole gray box around the outside, but I am interested when this word changes. So when this word changes to say, it will say in stock, for example, I want that to, to give me the notification. Another option here would be to get this button. Um, I could choose when this button comes back as a different color, because when in Smiths, for example, I know that when the button is in stock, it's actually green. So that would return a different code. Um, but that does pick up this bottom part as well, which is not ideal. So this is the perfect one in Smiths. Um, I click here, you can see it's now red, um, and then I can click done. And if we click in here, you'll see that this is the code that's, that's basically managing that. So when it comes back again and it is in stock, it wouldn't say exactly this. It would say all of this first part, but then the last part would say in stock instead of out of stock. So then obviously I'd get a notification. So that's what I wanna do. Uh, I want to set a check interval. So how often is it going to check? I want it to be every, basically as soon as possible. So like every five seconds, how quickly Shining Fates is disappearing right now. I want it always to be checking. Um, I don't want to be waiting 15 minutes because as soon as there is stock, it's going to sell out within minutes. So I definitely don't want that. I want desktop notifications and I want a sound. So a, a cuckoo or a chime, either one, just set something up to to do. And again, uh, check interval, this is for all of them. So. You can click advanced and have a look at some of the things that are in here. So desktop notifications. So do you want to pop up when it um, actually you know, find something? Yes or no. Uh, if you do want a notification, how long is it going to stay for? Check intervals. This is a, a fraction of minutes, so five seconds. Sound alert. So as you can see, <laughs> that's the kind of sound that's going to make you, uh, when, when the notification gets pinged, it does scare the life out of you the first few times because you don't really know what it is and you're trying to figure out what it is. Uh, and then there's a few other changes that you can make down here as well. Um, and that's about it. And just keep doing it basically. Go to another site. So um, I don't know, let's go to a game, for example. Uh, you can do this with you know, Nintendo Switches, PS5s, um, games, whatever you want. Just go to whatever product it is you're looking for and just click monitor the page. So yeah, that's about to, that'll do, do it for this video. Um, how to set up the Chrome extension page monitor. 
Um, if you're interested in Pokemon, comics, coins, any sort of collectibles, subscribe down below. I open up uh, predominantly po Pokemon pack openings. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below, comment whether or not it's helped you, and I'll catch you in the next video.